cryptocurrency and global trade, evaluating how digital currencies transform international trade, finance, and sanctions. Ever wondered what makes sending money overseas such a hassle? What if there was a secret hero that could save you from those expensive fees? Today on The Government Report, we dive into the world of cryptocurrency, the game changer for global transactions. We'll explore how this digital technology is changing the way we send money across borders, making it faster, cheaper, and simpler. Stick around to uncover the powerful potential of cryptocurrencies in international finance. You won't want to miss how this could dramatically transform your approach to money. Just watch how this works, and you might see money in a whole new light. Part 1. Cryptocurrency and its impact on global trade. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that uses cryptography for security and operates on a decentralized network through blockchain technology, which records transactions transparently without a central authority. The most well-known cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin, created in 2009 as a digital store of value, and Ethereum, launched in 2015, which introduced smart contracts for decentralized applications. Unlike traditional fiat currencies issued by governments, cryptocurrencies rely on technology and network agreements for trust. When companies use blockchain, they can keep secure records of goods and transactions. This means fewer mistakes and less chance for fraud. It's like having a super safe notebook where everything is written down clearly. This helps businesses work better together and makes everything more transparent, which is good for everyone involved. One of the biggest benefits of using cryptocurrencies for international payments is speed. Traditional bank transfers can take several days to complete, which can be a hassle for businesses that need quick payments. In contrast, cryptocurrency transactions can happen in just a few minutes, no matter where you are in the world. This is especially important for companies that rely on timely payments to keep their operations running smoothly. Another major advantage is cost-effectiveness. When businesses use traditional payment methods, they often face high fees due to banks and intermediaries. These fees can include wire transfer charges and currency conversion costs. However, cryptocurrency transactions usually have much lower fees because they eliminate the need for middlemen. This means businesses can save money and improve their profit margins, making cryptocurrencies an attractive option for international trade. Many companies are already taking advantage of these benefits. For example, Overstock and Newegg accept Bitcoin as a payment method, allowing them to reach more customers while cutting down on transaction costs. Additionally, services like BitPesa are using cryptocurrencies to facilitate faster and cheaper money transfers across Africa, showing how digital currencies can make a real difference in international trade. Cryptocurrencies also have the potential to reduce trade barriers. They provide a universal currency that can simplify transactions between countries with unstable currencies or strict regulations. This could open up new opportunities for businesses in developing nations, allowing them to participate in global trade without the hurdles posed by traditional banking systems. One of the coolest things about cryptocurrencies is that they can help people who don't have access to traditional banking services. In many parts of the world, opening a bank account can be really difficult. With just a mobile phone and an internet connection, anyone can start trading and participating in the economy. This democratization of finance is crucial for fostering economic growth and inclusion. Part 2. Regulatory and Economic Challenges Sorting out the rules for cryptocurrencies is like solving a complex puzzle. Different countries have different attitudes toward digital currencies, which creates a confusing situation for international trade and finance. Some countries are embracing cryptocurrencies, trying to smoothly integrate them into their financial systems. For example, El Salvador has made Bitcoin legal tender, allowing citizens to use it for everyday transactions. On the other hand, countries like China are taking a more cautious approach outright banning cryptocurrency trading and mining to maintain control over their financial systems. This patchwork of regulations makes it tough for countries to coordinate and reach consensus on how to handle cryptocurrencies. One major issue with cryptocurrencies is their potential to bypass international sanctions. 
countries like Iran and North Korea have been known to use digital currencies to evade economic restrictions. For instance, North Korea has been linked to cyber activities aimed at stealing cryptocurrencies, which they then use to fund their nuclear program. This ability to circumvent sanctions complicates enforcement and raises concerns about global security. Cryptocurrencies also challenge how countries manage their own currencies. As digital currencies like Bitcoin gain popularity, they can affect the stability of traditional money systems. This puts central banks in a tricky position. They must figure out how to address these new digital currencies without disrupting their economies. For example, the European Central Bank is exploring the idea of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, to maintain control over monetary policy while adapting to the rise of cryptocurrencies. Another significant development is the rise of decentralized finance DeFi, platforms that provide financial services without traditional banks. These platforms allow people to lend, borrow, and trade directly with one another using blockchain technology. While DeFi increases access to financial services for those without bank accounts, it also raises questions about consumer protection and market stability. In response to these challenges, regulatory bodies worldwide are tightening their grip on cryptocurrencies. Governments are implementing stricter Know Your Customer KYC, and anti-money laundering AML, regulations to prevent misuse. For example, in the United States, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has taken action against major exchanges like Binance and Coinbase for failing to comply with regulations. Part 3. Future Outlook and Risk Management as we look to the future of cryptocurrencies, they're set to play a big role in global trade. But of course, it's not without potential bumps. You might have heard people say that blockchain technology is just for money, but that's not true. It's actually helping in many other areas, like shipping and making sure trades are fair. But along with it, there are other developments as well. Looking ahead, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are going to be super important in how people and companies trade with each other around the world. And it's not just about money. These digital currencies are helping out in other cool ways, like making sure things are fair when people send goods across countries. For example, imagine you ordered a video game from another country. Using blockchain, the technology handling Bitcoin, you can actually watch your game as it travels from there to your doorstep. This makes sure no one can mess with your order. Did you hear that Bitcoin just hit $100,000? That's a huge deal because it means a lot of people are starting to really trust and use it. Even Eric Trump thinks Bitcoin could reach $1 million someday. That's a huge number. But it's not always easy with cryptocurrencies. Their prices can jump up really high or fall down low super quickly. This can be a big headache for businesses that need to know how much they'll spend or get. To handle these wild price changes, some smart companies use something called futures contracts. This means they agree on a price now for something they'll buy or sell later, no matter if the price goes up or down. For instance, a coffee shop that buys coffee beans from another country might use a futures contract to lock in today's price for beans, even if they need them in six months. This way, the shop won't pay more if prices go up. Different countries are still trying to figure out the best way to deal with cryptocurrencies. Some are all for it, while others are a bit worried. This can be confusing for businesses that want to use these digital currencies. And guess what? Blockchain the tech behind cryptocurrencies is also helping governments do better jobs. Like, Estonia is using blockchain to keep their public records, like who owns what land or who is married to whom, super safe from hackers. So there's a lot going on with cryptocurrencies. They could change the way we buy and sell things, but there are some bumps along the road that we need to figure out. So to wrap it all up, cryptocurrencies are revolutionizing global trade. They're simplifying cross-border transactions, challenging traditional regulatory frameworks, and bypassing international sanctions with the help of blockchain technology. This shift promises a more transparent and efficient system, opening up new business opportunities while also introducing new regulatory challenges. Just when it's getting exciting, we're cutting to the chase. Cryptocurrencies aren't just a fleeting trend. They're shaping up to be key players in the future of international trade and everyday life. 
let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to explore more thought-provoking videos, watch this.